Mackenzie Ingram said she wasn't even paying attention to the draft when the head coach of the Atlanta Dream called her. Yeah, so I was actually getting food. Um, I was in the kitchen scooping up some hummus, and a Kentucky number called me. And it was kind of, it was third round. Um, obviously, they call you a little bit before your draft um, number. And so I was just getting food. I saw my phone ring. It's a Kentucky number. I was like, who in like, who is this? I was like, well, let me just answer it just in case. And I answered it, and um, Coach was like, hey, Mackenzie, it's Nikki calling from the Atlanta Dream. And I just literally froze. Um, and it was kind of like an awkward moment of silence, but she was just like, congratulations. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Her dad was even happier. The joy and excitement that I had was for the, the smile I've seen on my child's face. After that, the first person she called was her brother, New York Giants tight end Evan Ingram. He knew from the jump, both all my family, they knew um, that I had a good possibility of getting drafted and the only person that didn't believe it was me. The most important person to contact her was her mentor. That night, I just went to sleep and then I woke up and was going through all my messages and then I saw hers and it was like one of the first ones in the morning. ESPN broadcaster Maria Taylor. So I'm so excited for her, especially for her to be in Atlanta and I can actually stop by and see some of the games and I, I wanted her to know on draft night that I was proud of her. For all her personal and now professional qualities, Ingram says she still has stuff to work on. Knowing that my physicality, my size is going to have to go up. Um, just if I want to be that dominant. But that's not stopping her from taking it all in. I'm actually super excited. Um, it's going to be definitely like a once in a lifetime experience and something that I'll be able to say that I've done. You know, I've played against the best players in the country. With that experience, she says she's glad she's so close to home and she can bring her fans with her. I'll be able to bring in two different fan bases from my fans back home, my school, my county, and then my fan base here in Athens. 